Hello and welcome back. Today on the stall, not on the bench, we've got a Tech 585A analog oscilloscope valve jobby. But before I just get to that, I just want to say a word. But first, I want to say a little bit about this subwoofer amplifier. I've been on it about a couple of weeks messing about with it. Powered it up yesterday. Found I'd made a couple of stupid mistakes, rectified those, tried it with uh, a waveform of opposite polarity going into each channel. All I got out was a big um, sawtooth wave. I'm pissed off with the thing for now, had enough, and I needed to drop onto this tech scope, so that's just being put aside for the moment. So, back to this tech. Tronics 585A. So this is um, just a bit of background. This 585A, which is upside down, so you can't really see it properly, was one of the, I think it was the last big tech valve scope that they made. And these things were thousands and thousands of pounds. This is back in the 1960s and 70s, so bloody good. Um, what is, what's the word? Really good lab grade um, oscilloscopes. It's brilliant uh, scope, performs brilliantly today, even though it's what 30, 40, 50 years old. However, it developed a fault. So I had it on one day, and basically, I've been sort of just coming in to the uh, workshop, popping this big scope on because, as well. As being a damn good scope, it also warmly works up a bit. So, pop this on one day. After it had been on for a while, it clicked off. Had a look at it and found it had blown a mains fuse. So after having looked at it for quite a long time on and off, trying to diagnose the fault, I found that, uh, well basically, there's two windings on there. Are. Right, there's two windings. When the main fuse blew, this resistor here, R670, had blown. It had burnt out. So I replaced that, and basically every time I powered the scope up, it's blowing fuses. So I checked C6708A, C671, tried all the... So we tried all, you know, looking at all the various components down the line, disconnecting things, checking capacitors. And then I started to find that there's this relay that comes on after about 20 seconds, I don't know, something like that. And it joins here, if you see, it joins this winding to another winding. Basically to get, it's joining the 100 volt and three... 125 volt windings together to get a higher voltage and I basically found out that the fault was this only when this relay kicked in and joined these two windings did the mains fuse blow if I disconnected this all was well this made tracing the fault particularly hard because normally what you do you power a device up maybe current limited with an amp limiter or something like that and then take some voltages couldn't do that in this case because the fuse just kept blowing so let's go back in the workshop after scratching my head talking to a few of the chaps online on forum it was suggested that some of these windings uh, on this mains transformer could be either shorted stressed or you know like the insulation's gone so I have here on the bench this is an air mech type 251 ionization tester it's a valve jobby and to all intents and purposes it's a mega in that it can generate a very high voltage either one kilovolt or ten kilovolts and it can listen to um, 
what can it listen to? It, if you test a capacitor, say for instance, you can listen to any dielectric breakdown. The other thing it does is obviously act like a mega, and you can put a high voltage across whatever the device on the test and check its uh, resistance. Okay, so I'll cut this short. Earlier on, I tested all these windings on this transformer and found that basically I couldn't get a reading, the, the meter pegged, so therefore there is a low resistance between winding 8 and 15 and winding 7, 5, 10, 14. And so that pretty much confirms, uh, pretty much says that the windings, the, ele the electric, uh, what do you call it? that the insulation between those windings is toast. So, after I perform those tests, to check, I thought, I know what I can do. Because this tester hasn't got a lot of current, if you try to test anything with low leakage, you just get no movement on the meter. There's not enough current there, it's not enough oomph. So, what I've done, I've connected this tester it's just as a, we're using it as a voltage source for now. Yeah, I've connected one end to ground and the other end to winding 815, and then I've got a meter across that to monitor the voltage. Also, this is a separate winding, remember. I've got another meter, exactly the same meter, from ground onto the other winding, onto winding 7, 5, 14, 10. So we'll crank some, crank the voltage up. Takes a little while for it to move. Okay, so we've got 200 volts there. Can you see? So this is our meter across our voltage source. And this is a meet meter across separate winding as you can see they are tracking these windings remember are supposed to be electrically isolated it's supposed to be a lot of resistance between them and obviously there isn't uh, go a little bit higher so I'll just point you near it and you can see they're pretty much tracking each other bang on so unfortunately this transformer is fucked, which is really sad because this is a brilliant scope. I love this scope. I love the build on them and everything. Uh, I've got other ones, but not as good as this one. However, I do have over here a transformer out of another Tech 500 series scope. A this is out of Tech 535A or a 545A. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. I'm hoping that this one will drop in here and replace this. I'm hoping. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try and take this apart and rewind it, which I don't think is feasible because I'm pretty sure this is a potter transformer. And if we can't get the potting off, then we're bollocks. This is just scrap, which is a real shame because, like I say, these scopes are beautifully made. Oh, the, the engineering on them is just first rate. Lots of clever circuits in here, high performing scopes, work from DC up to I don't know, 120 meg, 100 meg, I can't remember the exact specifications. Beautiful things. Delayed time base. You know, the Royal Swice scopes in my opinion, but there we go. Anyway, <coughs> enough waffling for now. Short video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.